Мы начинаем. Новости настоящего. We begin the news of present, which are always connected to the past. For instance, my second name was Kahidze, but now it is Kohadze. In the news of present, we will talk about the past as well with Katerina Krupenikova, a participant of six Moscow Biennial of Contemporary Art. Whom did you visit yesterday? We visited a really interesting man and a historian and a professor of, of Russian Humanitarian University, David Feldman. And we spoke about mythologies and the terms of power. That is really important right now. He was talking about the basic myth of uh, the Russian identity, the um, great patriotic war, which is actually a different war from the uh, Second World War. What do you mean? That's the thing. There is a difference. For everybody, the war has started in 1939. And for the Russian country, the war has started in 1941. This is the difference. And the myth has developed that this war is a really honest war because it's against Nazi. Mm -hmm. And what is Nazi? Nazi is an absolute evil. Then it means that the Soviet Union is not an evil in these terms. Do you understand what I say? Yeah, I understand, but if you compare two uh, evils, exactly. it's not moral. What do you think the term patriot means? Just tell me. It's originally is somebody who lives in the same like space with you. The, it's from patrio, the ground. Okay. So it's somebody who shares the place of living with you. Um, it's funny that before the beginning of the 20th century, this term was not ever used in Russia, okay. because it was a foreign term and it and it meant really different things. And then uh, a Russian politician, Uvarov, he used this term first as a swear word. Разве это не смешно? Это очень смешно. Also, your favorite question, for instance, from yesterday. That was actually the question about patriotism. And it was also, we had a question about Ukraine and Western Ukraine. Oh, really? Exactly. Can you tell me in, in Russian if, you, if it was uh, raised in Russia? Да, да, да. Мы говорили о том, кто же такие, кто же такой Бандера, и как и как его имя, и как эта вся история была использована в России. И рассказал фильм. Да, он рассказал. И мы говорили о том, что для людей, которые жили на этой территории, Советский Союз был точно таким же злом, как и нацистская Германия. Поэтому, когда пришла Германия, они подумали, что вот оно избавление от Советского Союза. И, конечно, они начали сотрудничать. Но потом они поняли, что Германия тоже считает их недочеловеками. У него мурашки по коже. Да? Да. До встречи в новостях настоящего. See you next time. In the news of present, yours truly, Aleftina Kahidze. Vasha Aleftina.